We've got a big Friday night treat for everybody because my first guest tonight is the very funny host of Full Frontal with Samantha B. Please welcome Samantha B. So nice to see you again. So nice to see you. I'm so happy to be here. Happy to have you here. Having oh. you on the show is always like a vacation for me oh, because me um, uh, you do an incredible show. Congratulations. Thank You're you just so much. crushing Thank it. Thank you so much. You're just crushing I, it. I, as I came here, I was sitting in the green room and I remember that you gave me the most beautiful gift that I have kept. From before the show launched, you sent a beautiful gift basket, whatever it was, mm -hmm. but you also sent me a little note card. And you know what it said on it? Go get those bastards. That's right. And I have That's it right. Up. That's yeah. right. And That's what I, I we used to always say over yeah. at the Daily Show mm -hmm. when you go out to do a field piece. Yeah. Is that we'd always say, "Let's go get those bastards." I got it up. It makes right. me. I look at it every day. I yeah. go, "Oh, there you go. Right. There's my yeah. shining star." Well, uh, back at the Daily Show in the early days, when we meant yep. by "get those bastards," we meant like you know people who believed in Bigfoot and stuff like that. Oh, in sure, the early sure, days. sure, exactly. sure. Yeah, but yeah. now we've actually got some really incredibly... Incredible bastards. Yeah, people to go after <laughs> sure. this time. Can you... Are you enjoying... I mean, you're doing... A, the show's great, but are you Thank actually you. enjoying this campaign? Because it's a double-edged sword. Because you get to make great jokes about somebody right. like Donald Trump. On the other hand, he could be president. It's enjoy is a strong word. Yes. I mean, it is, um, it's certainly a buffet of wonderful things to draw upon to make a comedy show. Uh -huh. I want it to be over so badly. <laughs> I well, want to that's... live my life. I want America to be happy <laughs> again. Well, were you nervous? <laughs> like, were you nervous going into the debate on Monday? Because a lot of people were really nervous that was, he would, he would come across as, you know. I was extremely know. nervous. I had a very, we had a, um, we had terrible anxiety in our offices all day. We were all very pale. We were all very drawn. <laughs> we were kind of shivering. It was mm -hmm. kind of well, what, how, do you, how do you think it went? I mean, there, there, are, there are the went... polls and there are people spinning either way, but what, actually, how do you think it went? I actually thought it went very well. I actually was very happy with the outcome. I enjoyed... Uh, you know, in the after, I feel like I felt that Trump peeled away the layers of the onion. The I felt that he revealed himself in small ways throughout the debate in a way that I, I really did. Uh, I felt I felt quite I felt quite good about that. Mm -hmm. That was nice. And then, of course, he went on Fox and Friends the next morning and revealed even more layers. <laughs> it was great. It's yeah, he said it was the, the the fix was in. Uh, mm hmm yeah, 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 mm hmm yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, so we'll see yeah. how it all works out. <laughs> We're gonna be fine! The world. Next week is yes. the vice presidential debate. Oh, yeah. Not as, yeah. not as high stakes. It's not as high, still important. Still important, because, because they, either one of those people... ...could be president, president and States. in fact, I mean, didn't... I feel like Donald Trump has said that Mike Pence will be his de facto president. I mean, while he's busy making America great, Mike's going to be taking care of all the policy and all that other. Yeah, that supposedly, no though, the word is that Donald Trump Jr. said whoever is the vice president will be the most vice, yeah. powerful vice president ever because they'll be in charge of both domestic and international policy while and Trump everything. makes America great again. Busy exactly. making America great. So maybe right. we should keep our eyes on him. They're not the can. biggest firebrands in the world, not uh, Mike the Pence biggest. and Tim Kaine. Maybe they'll have a banjo duel. I don't know how it's going to go. I wish. Banjo duel. I don't know. I would watch that. I would. That would I would be watch. Ding, 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 <laughs> ding. That, that would be amazing. That would be fantastic. There is a slightly inbred quality there. I, could, I feel like that's a debate that I could moderate really? in some ways. Have you ever, people ever <laughs> say to you, oh, you should, you should, you know, you should moderate a debate. Do they ever, uh, like, they mistake you for an actual journalist? They say it, but they don't mean it. Oh, yes, they, don't they know. do. No, they yes, don't they know do. what they're saying. Oh, I would disabuse them of that notion quickly. Unless it's a banjo-related debate. I have nothing to do with it. Do you have any I've questions, like, you would want to ask, like, the candidates, like, uh, Trump and Hillary? I anything just you want to watch them do what they do, and I want someone else to take care of business mm -hmm. and do their jobs. And I kind of want to watch them just fight in a pit. Uh, that would be amazing. Mm -hmm. I would appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Let's grease them up. No, I understand that you... Bacon grease. Let's... So that you can do that. You could be the grease girl. <laughs> You can grease them up, and then somebody somebody else can moderate. I'll be with you in just a moment, uh, Anderson Cooper. Oh. Oh.
talk about your sexy self? Oh, look, look at, at that. I, look what, how. Look at that. Look how clean oh, bees. Why am I there. always, yeah. my hands are doing this. You are holding up, you are helping I'm, up imaginary breasts. I'm holding up myself. I, do you see my hair is so luscious. I you have, do. I have extra hair in there. They you really, put, is that extra? That's not that, your hair? No, it's not. Well, my, I, I like my hair, but they put extra hair in there, and so I look like a kind of a, a faded, like, 1970s country music star <laughs> who's, like, fallen on hard times and just, like, slid down the wall. Sure. Her shoes are off. A little Tammy Wynette. You know, a little Tammy a little Wynette. Bit, a little bit. Look right there. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. I donated. Do you do this? Hair. Do you do this for the show, or do you just do it for photo shoots? I no, I've never done it before. I had the extra hair just for that. I gave, I donated it to people at work. It's fine. Is I that gave what? Because to... somebody handed me this photo. I wasn't entirely sure what to make of it. Oh. Is that what this is? Let's see. Is that, oh yeah. <laughs> yes. Is that a? Yeah. Is that a curtain made yeah. out of your former uh, hair that's extensions? That's a curtain made of my. Yeah. Right there. We have our offices really set up. It's like a cubicle mm. matrix. Mm. So Mitra pushed, she pushed panels out so that mm. she could have, you know, human relations with other people and then put my hair up as a beautiful curtain. I gotta say, uh, having your hair up there does not add to the uh, desire to have human relations with other people. Because <laughs> well, yeah. she looks like a cannibal who's got trophies. It's not pubic out. hair, Stephen. It's, it's not like, pubic no, hair? No, it's not pubic hair. It's oh. just hair hair. It's fine. I said Can pubic. you get pubic hair extensions? I think you can get anything you want. Really? Yes, you can. You can. You we can. Live in that kind of a world. You can. Can you explain to me why Ryan Lochte is in your office? For inspirational is, purposes. There's. And to. Why is there a naked Ryan Lochte in your office? I have. Well, you know what? He sits opposite a, a large portrait that I have of a half-naked Putin riding a bear. <laughs> I like to mix it up for people who come into my office. Is I like it just to... your portrait, or is like this someone anyone could get this? No, 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 no. It's just mine. It's about eight feet tall, and it's he's holding a spear. It was like custom made for me. <laughs> I don't know. Did you? Where does I one wanted, commission this? I wanted to set a tone. Do you know what I mean? For the staff. Like when you decorate your first office at a TV show, you want yeah. to let people know where you're coming from. We got to take a commercial break. Can you stick around? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. We'll be right back with Sam B.